Hi, welcome again. Today we don't have a tutorial just like with my usual videos, but this is an announcement video and some of the interesting things that I'm planning to do in coming months. And the first thing is I'm gonna release Terrain Magic as an open access project. So basically you will be able to use Terrain Magic uh, for non-commercial purpose for free. So you can have access to the whole source code and all the materials. And also you can learn from reading it and go through the source material. And if you have no idea about Terrain Magic, and uh, let me show you what it does today. So basically it's something like this. So basically it can change the height data of your landscape. So you can bring external height maps. Uh, for example, here I can change the height of this landscape just using here and, it's, and you can change the height map it's quite fast and also uh, you can create a procedural paint layers using a lot of data height data normal data up like masks here we are using a mask to like paint this sand area as well as not spawn grass on this sand area i can change this uh, mask quite easily i simply change the pattern of this mask basically i can do a lot of cool things with this and it's totally procedural inside the editor and it has no impact on the performance of your game and that's what you can get it for free uh, from github from today and that's for non-commercial purpose and let me talk a little bit about that so basically if you're a student or if you just want to try out this plugin you can go to the github these links i'll add that into description uh, and if you really like the project or you want to support me you can get it from the marketplace and if you're using for a commercial project you cannot use this you need to get it from the marketplace and if you want to install it and there are a little bit of things that you have to do you need to install visual studio and you need to install dotnet uh, this is tk it's not hard or difficult and there are some steps you have to do but if you're not familiar with that and if you if you don't want to do that you can definitely get it from the marketplace and along with that i'm going to announce the public roadmap so you can click over here and you can see the roadmap so right now uh we have done the initial release and also we are working with the performance of this project actually i ship this uh, version right now and basically i can move that into done and there are some things that we are planned for example this is something i'm doing right now so basically i'm investigating with the world partition and right now it works with world partition without any issues but there is no any additional uh, performance gain by just using world partition with terrain magic so that's something you have to keep in mind and also next thing i'm working with landscape clips so basically this is a uh, small uh, height maps that you can place anywhere on the landscape basically you can add a simple mountain by putting this uh, actor in anywhere in your landscape and the mask system is the key uh, thing for this uh, whole project so basically you will be able to create masks uh, using terrain magic based on the height data normal data noises and you can merge with existing uh, masks and paint layers paint data and also you can paint manually and you can paint geometric shapes you can project static meshes and based on those things you will be able to create a mask and then once you have the mask you can apply paint layers to that one you can uh, add a height to that and you can directly send this uh, mask into your landscape material do some very interesting things and also you can access them via blueprints for example to do things like food sounds maybe niagara effects and so on and finally you will be able to spawn foliage with this uh, with collisions for sure and i want to mention again this is the key of terra magic once we have that we will be able to do quite a lot of things with uh, this system and i'm using houdini for a while for working with some client projects to building landscapes and so on once we have this tool i no longer need to use houdini because i can do all those things right into the engine and it's quite fast compared with houdini workflow and i really want to build this thing and after that we have some other stuff android vr support linux support and so on i can still work on this uh, but i prioritize our key features but once you have that we can simply go and add the support and the final goal of this project is to build a new landscape system for unreal engine and the reason why i'm doing is because epic has no uh, plans for building a beta landscape system at least for ue 5.1 or 2. i'm not complaining they're doing pretty good, great things with like movies and pre-rendering and uh, other stuff but there's a space for a good landscape system and i know there are a pretty good landscape systems like shader world but I, uh, I i try to view things in a different way and this is my solution for that and, and this is the final goal of this project and the reason why i didn't start with uh, building a landscape system but adding some tools like this mass system and the reason is with this uh, you can have a gradual transformation into this system for example with landscape clips and mass system you can build a completely new uh, landscape system using the existing landscape but we are using all the tools from terrain magic once we have the new landscape system we can simply delete the unreal engine landscape simply use this improved landscape system 
that's all you have to do there's no migration process and i have worked some of these things uh in a, my project called open land mesh i stopped working in this about a year ago yeah you can see uh, september 30 2021 now i built a lot of stuff related to this in this project but uh, with open land mesh i didn't i didn't have any clear goal of what i should do also for the customer on a client and there is no clear use of this project and that's why i stopped working on this project but i'm going to reuse a lot of stuff in this project for terry magic it's not that i'm going to start everything from scratch so basically i'm building a new landscape system and if you really like the idea uh, you can try to buy this from the marketplace and that will help me to work on this project and so i know that you are interested in it's helped me on financial aspects as well but still if you cannot afford this you can get it from github and play with this one and if you see any issues or any side you can talk to us from github and if you have any suggestions or you found some bugs of course you can talk to us and you can come to our discord server and talk to us also you can go to the github issues and, and post some issues and what you want to do and what are the bugs that you found all right this is about magic and wish me luck see you soon with something interesting bye